There are many different tinnitus conditions. They differentiate based on whether tinnitus is caused by itself or being in the company of other problems such as very high levels of anxiety, decreased sound tolerance, hyperacusis or recruitment, hearing loss, and many others. In reality, we rarely deal with tinnitus on its own. Most tinnitus sufferers often report other health issues or conditions that have been present for an extended period, which are caused or connected to the onset of tinnitus. One of the most often discussed factors is tinnitus caused by a so-called whip flash, or it can result from various head or neck injuries, often caused in motor vehicle accidents. This type of tinnitus is often portrayed as having a quick and easy solution for instant relief. However, it's important to note that one of the major factors behind the onset of tinnitus is what we call traumatic brain injury, TBI. Please take a look at the screen and you'll see some typical side effects or symptoms caused by traumatic brain injury. In the case of this type of tinnitus, it is possible to experience instant relief at times, but very rarely this relief can become permanent and cause the end of tinnitus. Also, we must remember that TBI can and usually does cause many side effects and conditions that can make life highly challenging to sufferers for a long time. This is why it is strongly recommended that all people who have experienced traumatic brain injury pay attention to any symptoms that may indicate worsening problems over time. What is also typical to all TBI sufferers is decreased sound tolerance and sometimes hearing loss, which is directly caused by the accident. There are two major types of hearing loss. The most common is called sensorineural hearing loss. This hearing loss is the most common because it affects almost all of us at some point. And it is showing in our life usually when we are getting to be a bit older, or for example as an effect or prolonged exposure to loud noise, or caused by medical problems or side effects of some medications. It could be connected to a traumatic brain or head injury, and sometimes has a genetic background. But the most common causes are noise and aging. Please take a good look at the picture. It shows an inside view of cochlea where we should have around 15,000 hair cells. These hair cells shake as the sound wave runs through the liquid inside the cochlea. Some nerves attached to the cells generate nerve impulses due to the hair cells activation. Those small electrical currents are transferred to the brain central processing centers. And this, in simple terms, is the most basic explanation when discussing the most common type of hearing loss. The second type of hearing loss is conductive hearing loss. Again, to make it as simple as possible, in this kind of hearing loss, there are issues in the middle ear that prevent sound waves from reaching the inner ear. Tinnitus can also be caused by TMJ dysfunction, TMD. This condition leads to pain and tenderness in the jaw joints and the muscles and ligaments around them. There are various causes of TMJ, including teeth grinding, jaw injuries, arthritis, and everyday wear and tear. Treatment for TMJ varies from person to person and may involve medication, physical therapy, custom mouth guards, or jaw surgery. TMJ can cause tinnitus symptoms, although the severity differs, and it usually doesn't worsen over time, while medical intervention can effectively address most TMJ symptoms. Tinnitus may remain a separate condition in some cases. We have worked with patients with tinnitus for over 15 years. Considering the thousands of tinnitus sufferers we've treated, coupled with our expertise and knowledge, wouldn't you agree that we have acquired a significant understanding of tinnitus by now? So if you really want to learn the most important thing about tinnitus, something not too many people could tell you, you better subscribe to this channel. And if you like what you see, give us a like and turn the notification on.